We have a special surprise for you all on the day you may be seated. It is Black History Month, and our, one of our youngest preachers, a person of Mike Kale, put together something for Black History Month she wants to present to you all. Give her a good hand as she comes. It's kind of confusing, but it's basically I'm acting it out. Acting my, my character is Billie Holiday. So, and, okay. Okay. I am so glad to be back here in Philly and that's truly something for me because I used to go around telling absolutely everybody if I die, I really do not care if I go to heaven nor hell as long as it's not here in Philly. I used to love singing at this little place called Amerson's and Amerson and me, we was old drinking buddies, weren't we, Em? Em, give me these flowers. I used to cannot sing unless I had the flowers in my head and they had to be daffodils. So every time I come to here on Philly, he had a big box of daffodils for me. <laughs> but I did not put them in tonight, though, Wim, because I am the new Billy now and I do not need your flowers. It is important to remember that our backgrounds and circumstances may influence who we are. In life, we are not born with equal opportunities. However, we must be proud of who we are no matter what. Billie Holiday is one such an example. She succeeded even against all the odds in Lady Day by Lainey Robertson. See, I, I gotta sing the way I feel. I gotta sort of roam around a while and find a song or better yet let that good old song find me it was last year or was it the year before it was the spring of 57 i sang all night in this little bar outside baltimore my old hometown then some horse's buck comes and says he's not paying me because i did not feel like singing god bless the child but that is why it is so nice singing at Amazons. They used to be hanging from the rafters to hear me singing those days. The DJ says, I'm not the same Lady Day. But what they don't know, you can only get to where you're going by the way you've been. See, I know who I am because I knew who I was back then. See, all I ever really wanted was a beautiful home and some kids. Lots and just, lots and just, lots and lots of kids. <laughs> if I would have had some kids, I never would have gotten to. No trouble. That's what I used to tell Sonny. Sonny Monroe, <laughs> my first love. He wasn't my best, but he was my first and I loved him. Me and Sonny, we was married, but he didn't want no kids. My mother, she used to tell me that my best talent was picking out the rottenest apple in the whole entire bunch. <laughs> and you know what? Poor Sonny Monroe just took the cake for her. And her daddy's mama, she was a slave. And... I love that old woman. I used to sleep with her every night and she would wrap the mold skinny almonds around me. Just so tight. Then one Sunday morning I woke up and 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 she was lying there. She was lying there. She, she was lying. She was dead. She was lying there dead. Can you imagine 
waking up to your grandmother lying next to you while I've been dead. I will never forget that day because the neighbors, they came in because they heard me screaming. They heard me screaming the house down. I will never, ever forget that day. I will never, ever forget it. That day, <coughs> that day, and being colored like the time I was singing with Artie and the boys and we were on tour in Boston. I had to sit on the bus till my numbers came because you know, they didn't want no black girls sitting in the bandstands with all the white fellas. Singing with Artie and the boys just couldn't have been sweeter with me. They went to places where I couldn't walk through the front door. And if I couldn't walk through the front door, they could not walk through the front door either. So, this one place we went, we was all in the kitchen watching all the color folks do their jobs and all. Everything was going smooth as silk. Till all of a sudden, I realized I had to go to the bathroom in the worst way possible. So, you know, I got up. Walked over to this black dude who looked like he might have some sense where the bathroom was. Then he looked at me and asked why I wanted to know. Thereby proving he did not have any more sense than I had in asking. So I was trying to explain to him that I was not looking for the bathroom go part of my little old nose. This blonde comes up to me from the main dining room. The waitress who would not let me in to begin with. <laughs> so she comes up and she says, what exactly seems to be the problem here? I look at her and I say the problem seems to be that this dude over here cannot answer a simple question. That's what the problem seems to be. So she looks at me and she smooths out that tight little dress she got on with them pretty little shoes to match. And she says, well, I'm sorry, Miss Day, but we don't have toilets for colors. Miss Day, <laughs> Miss Day, she must have had me confused with Doris Day because, baby, I'm Billie Holiday, and everybody in this room is a color as they come, except for you. And I really, really don't mean to be rude or anything, but where do they go? <laughs> so she looked at me and she said, Well, Miss Day, the only reason you're here today is because Mr. Shaw agreed to pay us twice as much for you if he left you in the kitchen. Other than that, you went in here beginning to eat here to begin with. So I looked at her and I said, yes, Mr. Shaw has been very, very nice to me, but I know there's one thing that Mr. Shaw can't do for me, and baby, that's pee. <laughs> so she looked at me and she fixed that pretty little blonde hair of hers, and she looked at me dead in my eyes, and she said, well, there is one thing you can do. And I looked at her and I said, what is that? You can just Sit on it. <laughs> Sit on it. Sit on it. I was so shocked and shooken up because I had never been in that situation before because I knew it was about to be a bad situation. So I just kind of looked at her for a minute. Just, just looked at her. Not knowing what was about to come out because I knew it was about to be bad. So I looked at her and I said, no, I think I'll let you do that. And you know what? I cut loose. I peed all over them pretty little shoes of hers. You ain't never seen no white girl go so high in the air in all your life. Since the pipe came down from Noah, that was the high, and you know it was the low of the whole entire tour for me. Thank you. Great and great Billy Holiday. Give Minister Michael another good hand. God, we thank you for what you are doing in this place. We thank you for worship. We thank you for worship that includes both the lifting and the recognition of our young people to showcase their talents in a house of worship. So many in the world and in the streets are willing to showcase their talents and exploit them. But thank you for giving them a place of worship where they can show how much you've blessed and gifted them. 
Thank you for their faithfulness and their commitment. Now speak to our hearts through your word as only you can. We thank you in advance for the help we're about to receive. Let every heart say amen. Joshua chapter 